All right, so we ended up with the day off. One of the things my wife wanted me to do was to get the uh, marigolds, which are dying because it's turning into winter, get them off the front porch. And she said, how about try and plant them? Because we've had some success planting stuff in the yard. So if you remember, we had taken up three pine trees that were planted here. And <clears throat> I wanted to do something with this box. I've talked about moving this ornamental cherry tree over there. Mainly because I want it to be able to grow healthy and as big as it wants to without having to trim it back every couple of months. Because it is a nice healthy tree. And it'll look pretty when it's fully grown. Um, but I can't have it grow right there. It blocks the view of the, of the window. You know, it's a security issue. Plus I got it growing towards the house, which is, you know, another thing to have to maintain and keep up with. So, we've talked about moving it over here. Um... You know, I believe that a lot of things start with just a shovel. And so I just walked out here with a shovel, uh, dug me some holes, put these flowers in. Uh, I noticed I had weeds growing here along the edge. I still have a bunch to get up here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. There are these weird cabbage looking weeds. And then these ones with like spindly things growing out of it. I'm gonna dig those up and get them gone. But I went ahead and dug me a hole for this tree to go in. You got me a hole here. Woo. And I may need to make it deeper or wider or whatever. But uh, I got up these hostas, moved into the side. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here with that. But I think I'm going to make this line here like a straight line instead of it coming out like this. Um, and I may change the way this looks up front. But I figure I got the time. The weather's nice. And I got a shovel, so I might as well go ahead and see what I can dig up this tree with. Um, I imagine the root is very large, so, you know, I might as well get started. Alright, so, this is a ornamental cherry tree, like I said, it puts off cherries that you can't eat. They're pretty, but they're, you can't eat them. They're not good. Uh, the root base is not very deep. It spreads wide, uh, but it's not very deep. I dug one side. I dug like a semicircle, and then I started digging down on that side, and then I noticed that it's kind of loose, and I just pushed it over. Now, of course, there's a few roots down here that are hanging on, but I think I can twist that off and then move the thing over. So, yeah, let me do that. Okay, so here's my root ball. Very intertwined. Hopefully healthy. I'm going to pop this sucker in the ground and water it, and hopefully it'll be great. Fingers crossed. All right, so trees planted, flowers planted, everything's watered good. It's 32. I planted it good and deep and looks great looks fantastic also covered this back up move the uh, line of the box back a little bit uh, I need to get some more pine straw buffer up this pine straw looks kind of weak right now like it's all been blown away which most of it has anyway job done like I said, all you needed was a shovel. Good work gloves help too. <laughs> Alright, so went down to the farmer's market, which is nearby, and got some straw. One of the fun things about owning a truck is you can just go get straw if you want to. And I got some new marigolds, uh, not marigolds, mums. Put those on the front porch. Look nice and pretty. Alright, I got straw around this crepe myrtle. I got a straw around my maple tree. It's a nice base. All these are falling. I got straw around this main flower bed area. Straw over here. Let's 
all around the roses, around those beds, around this way, around this crepe myrtle, and around my newly planted cherry tree with the marigolds over here. And I got four new marigolds up in the front porch with the pumpkins that were there. I'll leave those up for Thanksgiving. It looks nice. I'm gonna call that done. I'm gonna clean up. It's about noon, so I've been at this for about four hours. Not too bad, if you ask me. I'm very efficient. Efficiency. It's not just catching fish. That was stupid. <laughs> I'll edit that out. <laughs>